Why do you think at this point in time, women are lying to themselves about really wanting a relationship? What do you think? Is, do you think that's pride or ego? Yeah, I think, I think um, one, it's to like not get their hopes up high. Is ra- I'd rather act like I don't want it or convince myself I don't want it so that when I don't get it, I don't feel some kind of way about it. You know what I'm saying? There's also society, friends and family trying to act like you don't need that. No, you know, talking bad on it. Um, and, and they're trying to validate. For some of them, they've already made some bad decisions, so they have to validate those decisions by acting like, well, I don't care about marriage or relationship. But again, they have to stop lying to themselves. And, and, and it's, this is the way for, this is something for people to understand in general. Like, what you speak will become your reality. You can't keep saying, I don't want, I don't want, I don't need, I don't need, and then think it's going to come into your life anyway. And you can't be afraid. I think some women have been shamed into not wanting a relationship. Like some women, when they say they want one, people make them feel like they're needy or they're this or whatever. And it's like, yo, no, F what anyone else got to say. What do you want in your life? Plain and simple. And again, I have to bring this back to the guys for a second. It's the same thing with guys when it comes to being in the streets and having sex with women. There are dudes out there who just don't like that whole dynamic. They don't care about sleeping with this one, that one. They just want, oh, they're what I call relationship guys. Yep. They've always been relationship guys. They're not about dating and, and being all over the place. But some of them will try to convince themselves to be out there in these streets because this one said, oh, you, you can't be st- stressing about women right now. You can't do this. And it's like, yo, be true to who you are. Because the minute you're not, you're going to set yourself up for bigger problems. I like the way you brought up the family and friends, because I think the family and friends is very important. I think that shapes who you are as a person very early. Most of the trauma actually comes from childhood. Yeah. I hear this conversation a lot, especially with women. They always talk about the woman's father and the importance of it to um, that directly affects her relationship dating with men. But I'm not sure if that's that's truly a deal breaker. Would you consider a, a, a woman with a broken relationship with her father, is that really a deal breaker for men? Is that a red flag? Should men typically steer away from those women? No. So, okay. What, what I want men to understand is all of these things are valid concerns. And look at red flags as not I see it and I run. Look at red flags as I see it and I address it. Okay? So if you meet the woman and she has a dysfunctional relationship with her father or grew up in a dysfunctional household, okay, talk about it with her. See how has it impacted her. Because if this woman has healed from that dysfunctional household, why should we hold that against her? And not only why should we hold it against her, you might miss out on an amazing woman because you're worried about something that isn't actually impacting her anymore. But if through discussing it with her, you realize, oh, she got abandonment issues. Oh, she's super toxic. Oh, she's this, she's that. And more importantly, after you recognize those things, she's unwilling to do anything about it to fix it. Now you let her go. Okay, so, no discussion. It, so it still could be some potential opportunity there as long as you do the thorough investigation. That's it. Exactly. I, I think we have to like not just look at it, it like even using dating women with kids. I know on the Internet, everyone's like, yo, don't date women with kids. And I understand the argument. But to me, it's always about go deeper than the surface, because if the main argument is you don't want to date a woman with kids because she, you're never going to be a priority in her life. You know what I'm saying? Um what else is there? You got to deal with the baby father. You're not going to have the authority, you know, whatever these things are. My way of thinking is, okay, address those concerns. Because if you meet this woman and let's just say the baby father is not an issue at all. She actually knows how to prioritize you. You know what I'm saying? And you're not losing nothing in this relationship. Then again, why would you pass this up? Because you're holding on to this idea that this has to equal this. But that's not always the case. Everyone's different. Now, I I agree that in most cases, those issues will be present. Mm. But it's not always the case. 